Hello everyone, Tremantin here. I had a request to make a video uh, on how to install Untangle in transparent mode versus router mode. Now, um, if you remember from my other previous videos on Untangle, um, you know that um, that the Untangle firewall has a couple of modes. One is called router mode, and then the other one's called transparent mode. Now, um, so I'm beginning the installation like our normal installation. In this case, I'm using VirtualBox, but however else you're installing it, just remember you need a computer with two network uh, adapters, at least a dual core uh, CPU, and at least two gigs of RAM. Okay, so we're gonna hit the graphical installation. Okay, hit English. Okay. You have you have the option to select what country you're in and uh, what kind of keyboard you're using. Okay. And as a side note on Untangle, uh, I've recently found out. Um, actually, they've actually recently announced that Untangle has a home license now. So one of the turnoffs I had about uh, Untangle um, was that they did not have a, a home user um, license. So if you wanted to run this at home and you wanted um, and you wanted to have all the features, uh, you're just not running a business, uh, you wouldn't really be able to unless you're willing to pay a couple hundred bucks. Now Untangle uh, did a smart move. Uh, so for five dollars a month, or fifty bucks a year, you can have a license, and you can have every single one of their plugins, which is really really cool. Um, now, if you're willing, if you if you don't want to spend the five bucks, I mean, Sophos is still a good um, still a good option. Uh, I'm still I continue to use Sophos and have no issues with it. It's been really good to me. Uh, but I also like Untangle too, so it's a toss-up. Now, um, uh, before it said if uh, it rated my system, saying that my processor was great and uh, the amount of RAM I've have allocated is great. Now we're going to format the uh, hard drive. Now remember that Untangle will take control of the entire machine. Uh, it'll, ha it'll format the hard drive and use it. Okay, so we yes say yes to commit the change. And now we're installing Untangle. The installation on a real um, device may take a little bit longer because obviously I'm installing this through a VM and, uh, and all this good stuff. Um, I do recommend for Untangle, like I've said in my previous videos, that you do have an SSD for the um, for the hard drive. Uh, that way, uh, during a firewall reboot um, and stuff like that, your downtime is less. And um, I do recommend um, to have a minimum, if not two gigs of RAM, a minimum of one gig of RAM. Uh, if you go onto the Untangle website, they will have guidelines uh, based on how many users you have in your company uh, or even at your home. And um, based on those users, they'll have recommended requirements. So what I'll do for now is just pause this video and we'll get back to it. All right, so now the installation is complete. So uh, you just hit continue and the system will reboot with the newly installed Untangle software. Okay, so now I guess I should say, um, what is what is the situation where you would choose router mode versus transparent mode? 
Okay, so router mode you'd use if you want Untangled to act as a router for you, plus do firewall um, operations, and you want also you want a uh, say you have a small business and you want uh, something that's uh, powerful in terms of uh, like a router capability is powerful and managed and all this stuff um, but you don't have necessarily the funds to um, to put into a beefier router like a Cisco or Juniper or something like that transparent mode is if you have say a Cisco switch a Cisco switch and a Cisco router and all you want is to put untangle in between to do the firewall tasks that's when you would do transparent mode now transparent mode um, you will not do natting or port forwarding or anything like that pretty much transparent mode as the packet gets uh, sent from the router to uh, where, wherever its destination is untangles in between and what it will do is rip apart the um, packet look through uh, the packet for the rules you've applied so say uh, you know a packet uh, comes in with a destination of 85 and you've blocked that packet uh, it will die at the untangle virtual machine okay so um, we've all seen the screen from our previous videos you have the language we're gonna hit it English in my case hit next okay so we're gonna go through the wizard okay hit next so you will have to assign your admin password an admin email okay choose your time zone mine was already set okay now you'll have two network adapters of course we're going to need two one that connects to the router one that connects to the switch okay now i copy the mac address of the first pc i uh, sorry the first uh, network adapter i have okay which is which i'm going to call the wan okay so we we'll hit next okay so the device itself will not have an IP address in terms of it will not have a um, it, it will not have a, an external address an internal address uh, because it's not routing this IP address is for management purposes that means that we can manage the firewall from a web browser so um, I just have it by DHCP but in a real scenario, you would not have by DHCP. Um, oh no, not PPPoE. You have it as static, right? Because we don't want the IP address to change. As you know, with DHCP, the IP address can change. So you don't want to have to run around trying to figure out what the IP address of your firewall is, right? So we'll have it statically assigned. Just give it a moment to uh, save those settings. This is where we're going to have the option. See, look at this. Um, in the router mode, we have a DHCP server that's going to be enabled. It's asking what our internal network will be and stuff like that. Look at the look at the diagram. So we got the internet. Um, we got. Um, the the router switches and whatnot and the PCs in this case we're going to insert untangle between the internet or the router or modem whatever you have and and on top of that have it connected to um, uh, the internal network okay so we're gonna hit transparent bridge another thing to consider of course is that in transparent mode uh, you'll need something else to provide DHCP uh, to hand out addresses. Okay, so hit next. Although if if uh, 
if uh, you're not using the HTTP or whatever, you may not need it. Okay, so uh, of course, do we want upgrades automatically? So hit next and then finish. All right, so now um, to install apps. Um, now, by default, Untangle will come with nothing installed. Uh, that is no plugins installed. So the host antivirus and all that stuff is not here. So you have to hit install apps and then you can hit uh, virus blocker and all that stuff. Um, what, what will need to be done in this case, uh, because I, I haven't given my untangle box actual access to the internet um it's not going to go out at least i don't think i give it internet access we'll give it a minute here and check one thing i like about untangle is that you can actually browse if you wanted to I don't recommend browse using this as your internet browser but it's nice to be able to test okay Okay, so in this case, I, I don't have, because I'm running in a virtual machine, I haven't set everything up. Um, the I, I'm not going to show you how to install the apps. It's pretty straightforward anyways. Uh, what you're going to be doing is, as uh, soon as you do have internet access, you will then log in uh, to your Untangle account. You have to create an account, and then you can select which one you want. Now they do have a um they they do have certain certain apps that you may want and so the light ones are free so the web filter light virus blocker light spam blocker light those are the free ones okay so i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any questions about this or any one of my videos feel free to ask uh, either in the comment section below or shoot me an email sean at seanmanzini.com and um, if you uh, have any suggestions for any other videos or if there's anything else or any video that uh, you want to uh, you want me to make just uh, feel free to ask as well you can also visit my website seanmanzini.com uh, thanks for watching everyone have a good day